thanks for checking out this video and so this video will be the first in the playlist that I'm doing on um, kind of rapid math or mental math mental arithmetic tricks if you will um, just a way to speed up your arithmetic and a lot of these I get from the book rapid math tricks and tips a really good book and they have a, um, a second a continuation of that book also something like even more rapid math tricks and tips or something like that um, so what I what I'll show is a spreadsheet that I made and it has a bunch of tabs in it of all these different um, <clears throat> kind of situations where you could apply these techniques and I'll have areas for um, one digit two digit three digit and four digit um, problems one digits I mean pretty much we memorize those or learn those uh, since grade school so but I just included here for completeness and typically for most people the four and three digit are too hard uh, especially the four digit depending on the problem but I include them just to be complete um, <clears throat> I'll have a box like this here in black which after I'm done doing the arithmetic I'll show you kind of what the what the trick so to speak is okay um, and I have notice here so this one I'm going to show for the first video um, just a very simple way to rethink multiplying numbers by four so here I have you know each digit um, one two three and four digit number multiplied by four and um, the digits are just selected randomly so for the one digit I select between 1 and 9, two digit between 10 and 99, and so on. And so if I press the F9 button, that will refresh the problems. So I'll get different random problems. Okay. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So okay, so let's just do these. So 5 times 4 is 20. That's pretty pretty easy. Um, 17 times 4 is 68, 635 times 4 is 2,540, and 6,055 times 4 is uh, 24,220. Okay, so I just did all those in my head really fast. Of course, this one's trivial. One digit is trivial. So let me show you the trick. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this. And change it to a nice pleasing green there we go so the trick to multiplying by 4 is just to think of it as multiplying by 2 and then multiply by 2 again so <clears throat> let's do the first one but do it using the trick so 5 times 2 is 10 10 times 2 is 20 so 5 times 4 is 20 moving on to the two digit 17 times 2 is 34 times 2 again is 68 so 17 times 4 you can look at it and boom boom 68 um, 635 times 2 so you get 1270 and then 1270 times 2 is 2540 right um, 6055 you get 12,000 uh, 110 12,110 times 2 is 24,220 so that's how you can look at these and just kind of um, you know get them a little faster Let, let's generate some more random ones okay <clears throat> okay so 9 times 2 is 18 times 2 is 36 and of course you just know for memorization 9 times 4 is 36 um, 77 times 2 is 154, 154 times 2 is 308, 908 times 2 is 18, uh, 16, right, 1816, 1, 1816 times 2 is uh, 3632. Now, 
sometimes the four digits get a little tricky and three digits also, especially as we move on to different uh, types of situations, different types of problems. So to me, if I look at 1800, 1884, um, to do that in my head, even times two, it can be a little tricky, right? Because you have to worry about carrying um, the ones and all this type of stuff. We should get, let's see, well, let's try to do this in our heads. So um, 37, 3768, is that right? Three seven six eight. Let me just see. Times two. Oops. Well, I'll just reset my random problem. But what do we have? Eighteen eighty four times two. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Whenever you press um, kind of enter on the calculation or something, that resets the random numbers. So. Okay, so I was right. 1884 times 2 is this 3768. And if you multiply that by 2, you would get 7,536. So let's try multiplying this by 2 again. 7,536. Okay, there we go. I just wanted to show that um, because, yeah, sometimes it's hard, it's hard even to do something like this times 2, at least to do it. Um, you know, quickly in your head until you get lots of practice. I'm pretty good at one, two, and some of the three digits, but four digits still trips me up because you have to worry about carrying a lot of the numbers. Okay, well, anyways, um, I hope that um, was interesting, and I hope you can use this in your daily life at work or at home, you know, when you're paying a you know, tip in a restaurant, anything like that. And this one was the kind of the basic one. We'll do some more interesting ones later, but you have to start somewhere, right? So this is the start. And thanks for watching, and I hope uh, hope to see you and uh, watching some other videos. Take care. Bye-bye.